With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. An aeroplane is flying horizontally with a velocity of 600 km per hour at a height of 1960 meter. When it is vertically above point A on the ground, a, boy, a bomb is released from it. The bomb strikes the ground at point B. You have to find out the distance B. So when the bomb will be released from the aeroplane, it will be having the same velocity as that of the bomb that is 600 km per hour. So this velocity is 600 km per hour. Now you can convert it into meter per second by multiplying and dividing by 1000 and 3600 respectively that is 5 by 80. So if you see this will get cancelled out by 3 and this will be by 100 and you will get 500 by 3 meter per second. Now if it will follow a path like this initially there is no vertical velocity right. So how much time it will take to travel this much height. If you see this height here it is given it is 1960 meter right so how much time it will take to travel this so i can write down the second equation of motion in vertical direction it will be h is equals to g by 2 t square h is this and uh, g is 9.8 it by 2 into t square so if you solve it I will write the t square is equals to 960 into 2 by 9.8. It will be 400. It will be equals to 400. If you see, this will get cancelled out by 200 and this will be 400. From here, you will get the time is equals to 20 seconds. Right? So, you got the time, right? Now, if you see here, after getting the time, we can get this AB distance if you see this point is A and this point is B and we want the distance between them. So this is nothing but displacement in horizontal direction, right? So if I see the displacement in horizontal direction, let's say it is R, it will be simply the time to strikes the, let's say this is the time T naught. So it will be U times of T naught since there is no acceleration in horizontal direction, right? So here u is given it is 500 by 3 and time we calculated it is 20 seconds right. So if you see it is 10,000 by 3 that is nearly equal to 3 kilometer uh, meter. Now you can check for the option so if you see the answers are in kilometer so we got this answer in meter right so you can convert it in kilometer by dividing it with thousand so it will be equal to 10 by 3 kilometer this is in meter so it will be 3.3 kilometer now you can check for the option so yes a will be the correct option 3.33 kilometer that is also equal to this much meter thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.